All right, thanks for watching. And can you solve this university entrance exam question? And by the way, just a big disclaimer, there's no such thing as a university entrance level question, at least in the US. So do not believe other videos that tell you otherwise. So, very cute question. So let's find all the integers m and n, such as 2 to the n minus 2 to the n is 2060. And first of all, the first thing to notice is that here m and n, they have to be greater or equal to zero. Otherwise, you get a number that's less than two and it wouldn't work. So m and n are greater or equal to zero integers. And the thing that really makes this work is the prime factorization of 2016 in the following sense that you can factor it out as 2 to the fifth times, in this case, 63. Okay, it's not a prime number, but that's all we need for now. So this really suggests to uh, factor out 2 to the fifth from this expression. So what we get is 2 to the fifth, and then 2 to the n minus 5, minus 2 to the n minus 5, and that's 2 to the fifth times 63. Okay, so this cancels out, and then we get 2 to the n minus 5, minus 2 to the n minus 5 is 63. Okay, and now, the thing that really makes this work is that not only we have this factorization, but also 63 is one less than a power of two. Namely, it's 64 minus one, so it's two to the six minus one. Now, here's a cool thing. So, first of all, this is an integer. So, if m or n are less than five, we kind of get a decimal number. Yeah. So it wouldn't be an integer. So already we know that m and n are greater or equal to 5. That's one. Moreover, notice this is an odd integer. So in particular, if m and n are strictly greater than 5, then we would get something even. So what this is telling us is that either m has to be 5 or n has to be 5. However, uh, I believe if m is 5, then we get something negative, which is not a big issue here. So in particular, we get n equals 5. So just to summarize what I said, so first of all, m and n, they have to be greater or equal to 5. Otherwise, we get decimals. And moreover, because of the parity, either m is 5 or n is 5. But if m is 5, we get something likely negative. So that doesn't work. And so in particular, we do get that n equals 5. And so we just need to solve 2 to the n minus 5 minus 1 is 63. And so 2 to the n minus 5 is 64, again, which is 2 to the 6. So m minus 5 is 6, and so m is 11. So what is the final answer here? So the only pair that really works is m is 11 and n is 5. And you can indeed check that 2 to the 11 minus 2 to the 5th is 2060. Which, by the way, is the year I got my PhD in. So very, very cool. All right. I hope you like this. And if you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.